but this is the contraption I made. It's not pretty. It was done very quickly just to test out an idea uh, because I've seen someone post the radiator one. They use the house radiator. And that's not good because, well, you're heating a thick amount of metal that takes long time to heat and long time to cool. So I decided to use a car radiator which has a very thin aluminium sheet right here that take the heat very quickly and lose it very quickly. So you use this small surface area and take all the heat away. And this is working actually better than I expected because all we actually need is a little tiny bit of square to cool down the rest of this. It's just cold already. So at this point we have 170 degrees Celsius. And at this end, 13. So this is cold to the touch. This has been running for half an hour. Right here is actually cold and hot. 180. And this end, it's cold to the touch of the area. Half of this is cool. Here, there's some air. It shows 60, 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, fan is pushing this through, cooling this aluminium instantly, so you get all the energy out of this heater. But something to keep in mind if you're going to use this system, I would recommend using intercooler. This is designed to cool down the air, this is a water cooler. But keep in mind that you need to have the outtake at an angle downwards, so when the condensation happens inside because of all the cooling and heating at the same time. It has somewhere to flow, so if you point it downwards, it's going to flow all the water outside and you don't get the clogged system, white smoke from this heater. 160. But right. it's 200 degrees here, it's 160 there, uh, it's cooling all of that excess heat that this heater is producing. Well, let me show you around how to build this contraption. It's very simple. Yeah, the exhaust needs to be put in here. Um, I'm going to show you here. 150, 60 degrees. And then if I hold it, you can just see how the temperature plummets when we go to the other end. Look at this. Completely cool on this side. When you go down here, it's 13 degrees. That's just because that's an inside room temperature. We have started with 6 degrees outside. This is cool. Very. So you're going to need a little tiny amount of fan. I've exaggerated a bit. So I made a little hole here so not all of the air is coming through because then it just doesn't feel that much of a heat here. But this is easily adding kilowatt to this heater. No doubt. So, fan, you can use, probably use two computer fans behind it, but they need to run constantly. Thing, while you're playing with this exhaust and everything that may have some leaks, you need to install this somewhere. Some monoxide alarm, and just place it somewhere, right? So you don't die here in your space. The reason I'll build this exhaust heater here from car part is uh, that I can plug the output right here and heat up my fitness room while the other end is heating this space where you can then sit down and rest a bit and I have this little nozzle here that can direct the outflow to the side by side and uh, when I feel like heating up the big room, I just unplug it. Uh, so this space here is 6 meters by 4 meters and it's 3 meters high so it heats up in about 15 minutes to 20 degrees Celsius. And when I'm wanting to heat up this big space I just unplug it and leave it like that. So it heats up this space with help of this radiator.